In this video, I will show you how to dim image backgrounds in WordPress by using SeedProd. Sometimes there's a photo that you would love to use, but it may not look great with light text or other elements on the page. SeedProd offers the dim background image settings so you can control how the dark background looks. This helps make light text pop off the page instead of being hidden. Let's get started. So here I just have a basic installation of WordPress and I have SeedProd installed here on the left-hand side. I'll leave a link in the description to a video on how to install SeedProd if you need help with that. And in this video, I'm gonna show you two different ways to dim your backgrounds in landing pages and also in our theme builder. So the landing pages are standalone pages that you can create for promotions or different marketing. And then the theme builder is to create an actual website, your own WordPress theme from scratch which is fantastic. So right now I'm in the landing page section under seed prod landing pages and here I'll create a new landing page. And Seedprod's gonna ask you to choose a new page template. So we have lots of pre-made designs that you can select from lots of different categories and options here from thank you pages and sales pages and coming soon pages. So I'll just pick a random one here and I'll just give this a name of dim and save and start editing the page. Now here you can already see that there's a background image on our page. You can also add background images to sections as well. For this example, we want to use the main background of the whole page, and that can be found in the bottom left-hand corner under global settings here. Next, we'll see the tab here for background. Let's click on that and you can open this. Let's just pretend that we don't have a background image, so I'm going to click the trash can here to delete this. Now you'll see the background color here that we set. This is the default color just in case your image doesn't load, so you can set that to whatever you wish. And then here you can either use your own image or use a stock image. So if you have one, you can upload it here and select that from your media library. If you don't, you can use a stock image here and I'm just going to search for a white background here just as an example. I'm not sure if this will work, but let's try this one and you can change the background position here. So cover or whatever works down here. You'll notice that we have the dim background right now. It's set to five by default, but if we check out the dim background, you can see that you can't really see your text. So if you want that to pop out on a certain image, you want to use that image, but you don't want to have your text blurred into it or blended into it. We can actually just increase the dim background option so that that gets darker and you can see the light or white text that's on your page. Once you're happy, you can just go ahead and save that and you're all set to go. Now, if we come back, we can do the same thing on the theme builder, but the option for this with the dim background is a global image that goes on every single page. So let's go ahead. First, we need a theme to work with. We click on themes. We can just import our starter theme. We have lots of different options here as well but let's just use the starter theme for now i'll import this and this is all of the theme template files to create your website from scratch so we have the home page which we can see we can click on edit design and here you can take every section of your page and take full control of that so we have our header here for our home page in different sections now you could add a background to this area here but if you're looking to add a global background image to every single page. We have the global CSS here. So let's go ahead and edit the design for this. Now on the right hand side, you'll see some content here for your header, paragraph, lists, forms. And this is just example content. It's not actual content on your website. And this is used to change the settings on the left hand side. So for example, our header, if we change that to red, you can see that that's red. And this is just to show you an example of what it would look like on your website. So let's go ahead and change this to maybe something light. And then we can maybe use a background right here. And we'll do the same thing where I'm just going to select a stock image. But again, you could use your own image if you like. And I'll search for something white here. So let's go with maybe something with a little bit of a texture. So there's a brick here. Let's just go with maybe this one. I'm not sure if there's something there. There we go. Now the dim background option by default on this is 20. We put that down all the way. You see, you can't see your light text here. So that can be a problem. We can use the dim background if you want to use it on your favorite background image. Now, of course, you would probably use a better image than what I'm using right now currently, but I just want to show you the example of how to pop that out. So let's go ahead and save that and we can come back. And if we look at our homepage again, we can edit this. You can see that that default global background is here and it is dimmed using that dim image feature. Feature. And then if we come down the page, you can easily set different sections in their color here. So this is still that light header that we set, but we can change the section background or background image if we wish and take full control over our design. Now that you know how to dim image backgrounds in WordPress using SeedProd, maybe you would like to check out this video on how to create beautiful parallax backgrounds in WordPress, which will help take your web design skills to the next level. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.